lads and lasses, welcome back to the workshop here at Outlaw Guitars with me, Rob, on this special one today because we are going unplugged. Okay, I was doing this fret when the camera stopped, so hopefully it's saved. If not, we'll continue with these frets. quite hard to crown them on an acoustic, especially because the neck's already in the, the body, but there's not a lot of room because of the handle and where the, the body is compared to the neck, so it's a wee bit harder, but it's always doable. Because if it wasn't I would get a file, triangular file, that hasn't got the handle, and I would do it that way. But we'll get it done. Patience is a virtue. You can't hold the handle and file it properly because it's in the way. But we'll manage. Just means I'm going to have to take more strokes because they're lighter, you can't get into it properly, you know. Remember when I says I couldn't find my fret dressing, my fret end dressing film? Right. Now, I went back to my eBay purchases and all that kind of stuff, and it was there. So I contacted them and told them I haven't got it yet. And that was a way back to October, but I haven't needed it. So that was me just realising that I didn't have it. So they're sending one out, at least for the next build, I'll have my fret end dressing files and I can finish the rest with them once I get it, which should be tomorrow uh, and everything's all good I 
that same crown. That's how easy it is to do that. Doesn't take that long. Now, all we need to do is start with it, start for like 400 grit, work our way up through the grits, get it all polished off, and then we'll be ready to polish them up too. Okay, let's do it. Basically all you're doing here is just running the sandpaper up and down there to start taking away most of the deeper scratches and then once you've done that you can start polishing it up. Now here, all you're doing is 600 grit and just taking off the deepest scratches from the file. And just check, you'll be able to see them. If you get all the if you get all the rough stuff off, you'll see it. And it's much easier doing it than a flat fretboard guys. Now I've got them done with the 600, now I'll go up to the 1000, 1200, right, now I've got it done to 600, then I'll go up the grits from uh, 1000 to 2500, and then that'll be getting ready to get buffed up as well. Now, because I haven't got the fret end dressing file, I mean these are okay. But what I'll do is I'll use the sandpaper on the edges as well just to get them buffed up and that. Uh, but there's no any sharp edges on it. Because I took care of that before. And uh, yeah.
And you're not really taking anything off here guys because as you can see the paper, the tape's still on it. You're just lightly buffing them. Just to give them a slightly better finish, you know. as I said right so you've seen what I'm doing and I'm going up the grits of the sandpaper I'm going to pause the video there and when we come back this will be getting ready to, this will be ready to get polished and uh, I might do the other two while I'm doing this one and I might put that on the separate video or put it in this one. I know I said I was stricken to acoustic today, but we'll see what's happening. Uh, I don't know. Depends on the edit and stuff like that. Anyway, pause it just now. You know what I'm doing. Going up the grits and then when I come back, I'll show you what it's like before we polish it. Okay? Right. 